Everybody, Aaron Count Sage Dynamics, and this is the Agency Arms 417 Single Chamber Compensator. Despite grumblings from the ballistically geriatric community, compensators are here to stay. They're definitely not a new concept. They've been around for quite some time, uh, rifles and handguns. And their popularity has grown, obviously, in the competition world. Uh, they've been around there for quite some time. Uh, special operations community dabbled in them and probably still does. And now they're becoming more and more common on carry guns for CCW as well as law enforcement. Because of that, you're seeing more and more compensators come to market. Not too long ago, Agency Arms released the 417 uh, two-chamber compensator, which had a somewhat unique feature in the fact that you could attach your, or affix your front sight to the compensator body itself uh, with a guide tracking. So in shooting, while your front sight is still going to raise during the unlocking of the firearm during the, si the uh, firing cycle of the actual slide reciprocation to eject the spit casing, uh, you're still going to be able to track that front sight. It's not going to reciprocate with the slide. People asked for a shorter compensator with the same feature, and agency was quick to offer exactly that. So what you end up with is a shorter overall compensator, but still have the ability to affix your front sight to the compensator body if that's what you wish. I'm generally pretty apprehensive about single chamber compensators because if done correctly, two chambers is going to be better than one at managing and directing those expansive gases as the bullet uncorks and leaves the barrel to keep the muzzle flat. Uh, so single chambers arguably don't necessarily do that job as well. Um, for me, I went ahead and threw it on a Glock 17 because I don't really Glock 19 very often. Uh, it's very rare that I'm going to shoot a Glock 19 uh, if given the choice. I do have a couple, uh, but I choose to use the 17 because that's what I carry. Even with the compensator on it, the gun is still comfortable to carry. What's more interesting to me uh, and more useful to me across the, the wide degree of uses that I use a handgun for is the fact that now I can easily holster, uh, duty holster, a, a compensated handgun uh, in a Safarlin RDS holster without having to modify the holster in any way. Uh, traditionally, I, I just recently switched over from the DO model uh, for uh, optic equipped handguns, and that holster required some degree of modification for a 17 to be able to be holstered efficiently and consistently with any compensator that I have. The 417 moving over to the RDS holstered up like it was almost designed for it. As a carry compensator, it doesn't really get much better than this. Bringing my 17 to just over the length of what you'd get from a Glock 34, I can comfortably appendix the gun uh, without any undue issues or specific holster issues. I'm using the Armadillo Concealment, the newest version of the Lux, which is a little bit longer to accommodate for uh, protection of uh, not only the compensator, but you from the compensator. Uh, if you're in a class and you're doing a high round count, holstering a compensated gun uh, inside the waistband, be it appendix or anywhere else, can be uh, a significant emotional event and make you rethink your holster choices. Armadillo Lux was, uh, was one of the companies that uh, initially kind of identified the problem, uh, them and a few others, and started offering holsters in a slightly longer length. Uh, for some people, it's counterintuitive to go longer for concealment, but actually a longer concealment holster makes concealing, especially a full-size or a full-length handgun, in the AW AIWB very uh, easier, uh, I should say. It's much more comfortable than running a shorter holster on a similar length gun or a shorter gun. Some compensators are notoriously finicky in the ammunition that they want to eat, requiring you to tune all manner of springs and things of that nature. The 417 single chamber, just like the 417 dual chamber compensator, will eat 115. Granted, the 115 doesn't really have enough power, arguably, to activate it, but I was shooting 115, 124, 124 plus P, and 147 plus P 
through the single chamber 417 compensator without any significant issues. There was some difference in ejection patterns from round to round to round to round, uh, but overall everything worked great. And the muzzle management of the 417 single chamber to me on a full size gun, I haven't shot it on a 19, I'm just running it on a 17. Uh, I don't see a huge difference, a noticeable and appreciable difference on my chosen carry ammo between the two chamber and the single chamber compensator. Obviously, compensators aren't for everybody. Plenty of people out there bemoan the existence of comps on guns. They call them gamer guns, and you shouldn't carry that. And if you can't handle the recoil of a 9mm, and these same people in the same breath will scour the internet for the latest and greatest comp or break for the AR-15, because the AR-15's recoil is so atrocious, uh, you, have to, you have to put a break on that. My personal feeling is I want my gun to shoot like a laser, and anything I can do to get that laser uh, is going to be something that I'm going to look at seriously, and if it can be reliable, I'm going to put it on my gun. Now this isn't a review, I have to underscore that, of the 417 single, cha single chamber compensator. It's just my personal experiences uh, and more of an informational of saying, hey, this exists. If you're looking for a shorter compensator, one that has the added benefit of being uh, able to affix the front sight to it so you can actually, to a certain degree, keep that front sight in your focal plane as you shoot instead of it reciprocating with the gun, the 417 single chamber is definitely something to look at. As far as ergonomics and aesthetics go, uh, I think you can agree that the 417 blends well with the Glock uh, family if that's what you're looking for, if you're going for that form and function. Um, you're going to get uh, huge marks in both categories. I'm Eric Allen with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.